snuffing of a big opponent. You get them down. You get an opportunity to get your opponent and put them out of the game. You do it. Emmett's previous high was 182 yards. He's blown by that 55 yards on top of that today. Vaughn Hebron scoops it up. Bill Bates. He leads this team in special teams tackle, and he makes another one. Well, next week, the Giants and Dallas. It appears they'll be playing for first in the NFC East if we kiss this one off. Both teams will go in at 5-2. and two. And the Giants lost earlier today to the New York Jets, and they squandered some opportunities near the goal line in that game. Ronnie Lott came up big for the Jets as they won that game, 10-6. Eagles with no timeouts, driving rain, 3.30 remaining. And O'Brien in trouble, gets away from it. Victor Bailey out to the 33, the rookie from Missouri with a play for 16 yards. His first catch and really some of the first action of the day for Bailey. You talk about that Giants-Dallas game. Remember, Giants were down at Dallas last year. No LT, no Sims, no a lot of things, and no organization really with Hanley as head coach. But now they've got Reeves, and they've got a chance to go down and get a little revenge against these Cowboys. And if they thought Jets de the Jets defense was tough today up to the Meadowlands, which they get a load of this Dallas defense with its speed and its aggressiveness. Kenneth Gant made a great tackle on Herschel Walker. And a clock run, second down to nine. That'll stop it with 2.42 remaining. That was intended for Victor Bailey. Packers have won three straight. Tampa Bay gets its second win as Craig Erickson was sharp today. By the way, in that Miami-Kansas City game, Harvey Williams of the Chiefs was carried off the field. It looked like a very serious injury, uh, but the report now is uh, very good. Uh, all kinds of movement now for Williams, but he will stay overnight in a Miami hospital just for precautionary reasons. Third and nine. And O'Brien launched it in the area of no eagles. Jimmy Johnson and the Dallas coaches are just screaming about the fact that that ball was, was dumped away. There was no one in the area. They were holding. Look, look at Johnson. He's soaking wet. He's still got the jacket undone. The, that is as close to disheveled as you'll generally see Jimmy Johnson. He's semi-unzipped semi and thoroughly soaked. Fourth down. Fourth and nine. It. And the ball was caught out of bounds oh. by Michael Young. What an effort by Young, though. And they'll turn it over on downs to the Cowboys. Great concentration by Young, looking back into the lights, into the rain, bending backwards. That's a catch. Ooh, it is. And well, Let's slipped look. out of his hands, though, Randy. At the well, end. it slips out after he hits the ground. Uh, that's that's marginal enough. I, I've got to agree with the official. The ball did seem to be sliding a little bit against his jersey, but great job of concentration and almost a almost a fine effort. Very close. So now 2:27 to go, and again the Eagles are out of timeouts. Dallas on its way to its fifth straight win, which will match Miami for the longest win streak, current win streak in the league. Dallas in their kneel, on, kneel down on the ground formation. And that'll run it up to the two minute warning. Guy says forget it, it's useless. <laughs> Don't, you can't get any more soaked. Let's put the umbrella away for hey, another day. You might need that on the way to the parking lot there, uh, <laughs> buddy. I mean, I'd like to borrow it, I'll yeah, tell you that. <laughs> exactly. 
I bet Jimmy'd like to borrow it right now. He's got now he's got the headset off, so now he's got nothing to protect him. Two minute warning. Dallas twenty three, Philadelphia ten. Ahead for the Cowboys, who now will extend their win streak to five straight. They'll play the Giants next week for sole possession of first in the NFC East. And then they'll be at home uh, against the Cardinals on the 14th as well in a game that has been moved to 3 o'clock Central, 4 o'clock in the East, the game against the Cardinals. The rematch with the Eagles comes on a Monday night, December the 6th in Dallas. If you hear a story that Jimmy Johnson is down with a bit of a cold next week, you'll know exactly why. He's uh, He's got every general practitioner in America cringing right now. It's 40 <laughs> degrees, it's windy, it's raining, and you know what? He's ahead and he doesn't care. This game is presented by authority of the National Football League, and the CBS telecast is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of CBS, the Philadelphia Eagles, and the National Football League is prohibited. Third down, minute 15 to go. There's Emmitt Smith. What a day for him, setting the Cowboy record. Our thanks to our producer, Mark Wolf. This game directed by Mike Arnold. Coordinating producer of the NFL today is Eric Mann. Directed by Larry Cavallina. Our associate producer is Lance Barrow. Out of Fort Worth, Texas. And our broadcast associate is Mark Dibbs. Senior producer of the NFL on CBS is Ed Gorin. And the executive in charge of production is Rick Gentile. Fourth down. And look at Aikman and the Cowboys throwing to Harper. Slicing into the middle for the first down. And they may not even have to snap it again. 18 yards for Harper. That'll do it. And Jimmy Johnson's Cowboys come away from here with a 5-2 and two record. A chance to look forward to a big showdown with the Giants down in Dallas next Sunday. And this is a good win for the Dallas Cowboys. They brought a physical, fired-up Eagles team that brought their best here to the here to the vet and Dallas handled it and somehow managed to come out of here with a win. It wasn't pretty, but it was physical and it was a W. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the game. Well, the Eagles last week surrendered 210 rushing yards, or two weeks ago, their last game, 210 rushing yards to the Giants. Today, the Cowboys sting them for 272 rushing yards. On the play of Emmett Smith, primarily, riding off with a Dallas Cowboy rushing record. I think all you need to say is there's speed, there's class, there's 237 yards. Emmett Smith is back. The Cowboys are the best team in the NFL right now. I don't care who you match them against. And the Giants, a surprise time and team of 93, has got its hands full when they come down to Dallas to visit the Dallas Cowboys. How do you see that Giants-Cowboys game next week? Well, you know, it's going to be a lot like this. I think the, the Giants have the capabilities defensively of giving Michael Irvin and Alvin Harper and Troy Aikman a, a bad time. I think if you're Dallas, you look at your films from this week and, and try to figure out how you prevent a defense from doing what the Eagles did today. The Eagles' corners, Ben Smith, Eric Allen, took Irvin and Harper out of the game for the better part of the game and, and forced Dallas to run. Well, unfortunately... For Philadelphia, plan A worked good, and plan B wasn't a good idea because Emmett Smith just crushed them. Well, the final score here, Dallas 23, Philadelphia 10. For Randy Cross, Jim Nance saying so long from the vet. Coming up next, back to Greg Gumbel in New York. Coming up in just a moment.